everybody. Uh, welcome to this ninth episode of Adventures in Scripture. And we're excited to be hanging out with you today. And today, we thought we'd start out with a really funny video about a campfire. Hello, and welcome to Spooky Tales with Boris Vincent. You may remember me from such movie classics as The Man with an Evil Brain. Today, I am pleased to begin a new series with you, a series I call Spooky Tales by the Fireside. Each week, I will welcome you here by the fireplace in my haunted mansion and tell you a spooky tale. Today's tale is a tale of something to do with fire. It's called the tale of the fiery furnace. Our story begins long, long ago with three boys named... Excuse me, Mr. Vincent. Oh, pardon. Just, just a moment. I need a word with my producer. What is it, Mary? What are you doing in the house? I'm telling a spooky story by the fire, just as we discussed. The fire's outside. It's a campfire, not a fireplace fire. What's that you said? Outside? Yes. You want me to go outside? Into the cold, dark night? Please don't make me go, I beg of you. You have to go. These are campfire stories, not spooky stories. You don't think it's spooky? Three boys being thrown into a fiery furnace? Well, maybe a little. I don't want to go outside. I will be like that film I was in, The Haunted Campground. There were werewolves in that one. Werewolves! But Dad... You mean... Don't call me Dad. We're on the set, Mary. Sorry, Mr. Vincent. Yes. You mean you'll go outside with me? Yes. To the campfire? Yeah. Just, just like God went with the boys in the fire furnace? Careful, Dad. Don't spoil the ending. Oh, Mary, that makes it so much better. Come on, Dad. We can go together. Yes, together. We see you soon, kids. Outside's the other way, Dad. All right, guys. Got a question for you. How many of you would be brave enough to go camp in the woods by yourself? Um, so if we took a tent, we set it up, let's say we set it up in your backyard. Would you be brave enough to sleep in the tent all night long by yourself? Well, okay, maybe, right? But what if we took that same tent and we moved it way out in the woods? What if it was out of sight from your house or any houses? far from any place with electricity, running water, or cell service. Would any of you go sleep in that by yourself all night long? Probably not. I don't even know that I would do that. So let me ask you this. What if your mom and dad went with you? If you had a parent come along, would you be willing to stay in the tent? The answer is probably yes. Um, if you have mom and dad along, that makes a huge difference. It gives you the courage to sleep alone in the dark because you know there's someone with you who loves you and is there to protect you. That's why the three boys in today's story that you're going to hear in just a few minutes were not afraid of the fiery furnace. That's why, just like in our video earlier with the skit, why Vincent wasn't afraid to go outside because he had someone with him that he knew loved him. So, we're going to watch a video here in just a few minutes that shows three boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they are going into a very scary place, but they knew that God was with them and that God would protect them. Watch the video. Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. One day, Nebuchadnezzar made a tall gold statue. His official made an announcement for all the people of Babylon. When you hear music, you must fall down and worship this statue. 
anyone who does not obey this rule will be thrown into a fiery furnace. So when the people heard music, they fell down and worshipped the gold statue like the king commanded. But not everyone bowed down and worshipped the statue. Three friends from Judah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, refused to bow down to a statue. Some men complained to King Nebuchadnezzar. You made a rule for all the people, they reminded the king. But some of the men from Judah do not bow down and worship your statue. This news made King Nebuchadnezzar angry. He called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Is it true that you do not serve my gods or worship the gold statue? He asked. If you do not bow down when you hear the music, I will throw you into a fiery furnace. Then what god could rescue you from my power? The three friends answered, King, the god we serve is able to rescue us from the fiery furnace. He can save us from you. But even if God chooses not to rescue us, we will not serve your gods. We will not bow down and worship the gold statue. King Nebuchadnezzar was even angrier. He made the fire even hotter and told some of his soldiers to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then the soldiers threw the friends into the fiery furnace. Suddenly, King Nebuchadnezzar jumped up. Didn't we tie up three men and throw them into the fire? Look, the king shouted. I see four men walking around in the fire. They aren't tied up, and the fourth man looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar quickly went to the door of the furnace. He called out. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire. They had not been burnt by the fire at all. Their clothes did not even smell like smoke. <gasps> Nebuchadnezzar praised God. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego sent an angel and rescued his servants. King Nebuchadnezzar made a new law for all the people. Anyone who says anything against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's God will be punished. No other God can save people like this. Then the king gave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego important jobs in his kingdom. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire. Only he could rescue them. God rescues us too through his son, Jesus. Only Jesus can save us from our sin. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross provided the way for us to be rescued from sin and have eternal life. Guys, that was an amazing story. These three boys were so brave and they showed something what we call integrity. Um, do you know what integrity means? Some of you that's having children's church, we've talked about this before. But it is doing the right thing no matter what. It is um, always, at all times, doing what is right, even if it means that you might get made fun of, even if it means that somebody might get mad at you, you have to always choose to do the right thing, which is exactly what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. They stood strong and they did not back down to King Nebuchadnezzar, even when they could die, even if God did not save them, they were not going to change their minds and they were not going to back down. Don't be afraid to stand up for God. You won't ever stand alone. Jesus is always with you and he will always help you through whatever it may be. Hey guys, hope you're having a great summer, and uh, so we're going to finish this up by, by saying a, a short prayer, guys. So uh, let's, let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this uh, wonderful day you give us. Uh, Lord, thank you for our church cornerstone. Uh, God, we just thank you for that. 
Lord, thank you for your word and for these stories like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God, that remind us that when we um, might possibly have times with that, uh, we'd be afraid that, that we're reminded that you're always with us. And so we have no reason to fear um, God because of you. So we are so thankful for that. Pray, God, that we would uh, have integrity and just glorify you in all we do. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.